Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. I want to bring you a quick bonus tip today of digital signing, uh, something I've been looking into so that I can send my documents to my our engineer and just have a simple um, signature request. He sends me a scan of his stamp. I apply that to the PDF, although I'll show you in this video that's not necessary. Um, and he can sign it. Uh, it. It's tracked and confirmed, verified, signature verified by um, Adobe. Um, and we also have the ability to uh, place multiple signatures in the document or documents. Um, it's, it's a really great uh, solution. It, this is a step up from the Acrobat request a signature. Um, this is kind of, I think it's like an enterprise um, level of, of solution. This is $21 a month instead of the $14 a month. This is Adobe Acrobat Sign. Um, this, as I mentioned, is different from the request e-signatures here uh, that you would have to do for the um, through uh, through Acrobat, so I am doing it right now on a free trial, um, and so I'm doing it through the web interface. I think if uh, just due to my Acrobat accounts and the way Acrobat does it, I had to enter a new email address and that's not connected to my Adobe right now. Um, so I want to request e-signatures and I'm, I've already made the um, I've already made each page has its own file and that's because so many of the um, municipalities recently that I've been working with are using a, a review system called Project Docs, um, D-O-X, and they require one page per file. So I had to go through the next page, print current page, save that, next page, print current page. I, I'm hoping Chief can create a solution to where we can do that, but um, anyway. This is what I've done for now. I've just done these sample plans, and I'm going to drag these from my browser into the window here. I'm going to enter my email. And um, say something like uh, the message, the subject, the message, etc. You can set reminders. That's great. Um, if, if your recipient doesn't, um, notice it, you can say every day, every week, every business day, every other day, third day, fifth day, etc. What I am noticing important is in this case where I've got multiple files, um, if you upload one file, if you're trying to get like a, a client sign off signature and you want to do all the file, all the pages in one file, that works as well. It just doesn't work at the end where you can download multiple the multiple files. Um, you have to upload multiple files in order to be able to download multiple files. Uh, so I'm going to sort this case, put A1 at the top, A2, I'm just going to sort these in alpha, in their page order. A4, 5, 6, E1, S1, S2, very good. And then I click Next. So recently somebody asked, how do I link like Acrobat to eSignature? He didn't want to put signature um, uh, fields, have to put multiple signature fields on like, you know, 15 pages. This is fantastic here. If you have a block here in your uh, chief layout to have a signature field, all you'd have to do is drag that signature block from here 
into the plan. Size this the way you want it. Place it the way you want it. I'm going to um, put it right here. And then I'm going to right click. For this one, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to try signature block. See what that does. You could put signature and email address. Um, you could put initials. You could put signer info fields. You can put a lot of information on here. Um, for my case, all I need is the signature. And I can drop a stamp in here as well. You can resize these. So if you have a stamp block and a signature block on your layout page. And then right click repeat fields on all pages on both of these fields. So now, as I scroll through all my pages, there's that stamp and signature field. Now in this case, um, it's blocking my window schedule, so maybe I want to resize this page and just move it over. This stamp is getting in the way of the dimensions, so I'm going to move this up like this. Getting in the way of the dimensions, so I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to send. <clears throat> so from this Acrobat Sign account, um, I can see that this document Jones Docs has been sent. It's out for signature. And I'm going to go to my personal email account that I just sent this to. There, it's off screen. I'll bring it over here. It just says, hey, Tim Schrock requested you sign this. And so I'm going to uh, pull this screen over here for you. This is the recipient's view. Um, by clicking continue, you read and agree that you've, uh, to, to terms of use and privacy policy. In order to keep going, you have to click continue here. From here, I can upload a stamp. And I can scan a document. Uh, say sc scan my stamp or I can text myself a message and from my phone I'm going to get a link here and I'm going to just make up a It says select stamp, take a photo. I'm going to zoom in on this. If I wanted to do a bunch of editing, I could do that. Um, it's going to upload it. Click done. And there's my stamp. So I have to enter my name here. And apply it. There's my stamp. Now I'm going to click to sign. And I can type my name in as this. I just typed my name for the stamp, so it already picked that up. I could draw my name with my mouse. I could scan my signature and put that as a document on my, um, upload that as a document from my computer. 
It's looking for image files, so JPEG or whatever. Uh, and I can send, once again, send a text to my phone. I get another link texted here. I'm going to turn off the rotate lock. I'm going to rotate it and just use my finger to sign right here on the screen. Send it over here. There's my signature from my phone and I'm going to apply. Now, that is page one. I only have to do those two things once. Once for the stamp, once for the signature. Click, stamp, click, sign. Stamp, sign, stamp, sign, stamp, sign, etc. Now we're done. Click to sign. All set. The user could download a copy. You can put carbon copies in there if you want, uh, say, the contractor and the homeowner to get a copy once the engineer signs off or uh, however you'd like to do that. Um, back to my uh, Acrobat Sign account, and I'm going to click on this. And... Let's reset the, um, I'm going to refresh the browser. Uh, I've got one in progress still going out to the engineer. So the one I, I just did is completed. So I'm going to click on completed. All right. I can download this PDF right here as one whole file. Or I can see more and download individual files. From here, I have to click on each download to download all nine individual files. So it's not quite like simple, um, but we'll download each individual file. Oops, I had a four. In there twice. One thing you, I think you do have to do, I asked about this, was go into the um, settings and there is, a, there is a setting in there to download, to enable the download mul multiple files option. Um, so let's go to my downloads. Here is this is the okay. So this is the file that has all of the um, pages in it. Fantastic. And then you can open the individual files as well. So one page per file. Um, to, to do this. Kind of a long uh, bonus tip, but uh, I hope this, is, hope this is helpful. If you like it, click like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.